years to the day, I started thinking it's been two years to the day um, when I first ran into somebody who shared with me about this proposed co plan while I was shopping in Kroger's. And all we've heard is one story from our opposition which does not send truth to our community. And what people need to realize, and I think you too, you do because of what you stood for um, on the first netting permit that you have filed an appeal against, is that this isn't just about a Coke plant anymore. This is about truth and deception. This is not about a job or 12, you know, this is not about jobs for 12 to 18 months for people or 500 This is not just about a job for us. This is about our lives. When those people that have worked for 12 to 18 months leave and are maybe unemployed again, we're still going to be there. This is our lives. Our children, our family, our health, our present and our future. And now it's been two years of our past. But two years ago, what the story began to be was about three of us, which has always just been a few of us that they allege are the only ones fighting this, that there were only a few of us that were fighting this and that we were just trying to protect our property values. But like I said, it's become something way beyond that. My, my property's worth nothing. So if I was doing this for the money, I would have defaulted on my loan and left a long time ago, but it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with right and wrong. And for the opposition to say that to ever brag about what the EPA has issued when it comes to this permit, that means nothing. Not issuing a permit was never an option. Because the EPA doesn't stand for, in my opinion, truly protecting the rights of the citizens. You know, after I read the article in the journal, I, just for the fun of it, developed this little desperate axe folder. And there's been so many of those from our opposition over the last couple of years that uh, I've experienced and witnessed. And I think it's fair to say that out of anybody else in the community, there's nobody else other than me Barb would be the closest person that has driven to Portsmouth, Ohio, Columbus multiple times, Hamilton County. No one has seen what we've seen. But three things came to mind quickly as the most deceptive things that we've experienced. The first one was the letter from the US EPA on January 16th at 4.38 p.m. when Robert Myers issued this statement, no more comment on the first permit. Now, the opposition would tell you that that was a legal rendering, a legal decision. But I find it interesting that this guy was part of the Bush administration, and his last day of employment was January 16th. So I'm wondering if he was boxing up his stuff as he walked out the door at 5 p.m. I have it. It's fact. The second one is the letter, the compliance certification letter from Senco from August 28th, 2009. Now, the governor will assure you, Suncoe will assure you, and the EPA will assure you that they are in compliance. I have two emails from the US EPA the day after this permit was issued where they say, quote, the violations you reference remain unresolved. So I find it interesting that the EPA will tell you that these issues have been resolved, but they're not. They're still considered a high priority violator by US EPA standards and were issued a violation in December. Being in compliance one day is hardly any indication of compliance. But what kind of brought all this together for me was the Middletown Journal article on Sunday, where, again, they didn't have their facts straight, because Suncoke has been able to build for a year and, I think, three months. Well, a year. A year since the US EPA wrote this ridiculous letter. And they haven't been building. But the paper once again says that finally, they have a, a permit that allows them to construct. That is a blatant lie. Or they haven't been listening to what's been going on. They have been allowed to build, but I believe they haven't built because they know that they've had legal issues that you have stood up and said it is a community that you're not going to stand for. You know, there's a price to pay for truth. We've all paid a price to stand up for what we believe is truth. This hasn't been a, a fun hayride for the last two years. Taken a lot of criticism, a lot of assault, verbally. But you know what? Monuments aren't erected for a critic. They're erected for people that stand up for what's right. And I believe you're standing up for what's right. But there's also a price to pay for deception. And our other and the opposition will have to pay that price. So I encourage you to continue to fight.
for what's right, regardless of what anybody else says. Because in the end, truth is truth, and you can debate it, you can argue it, but the end, truth will 